What's up, family? My name is Erin McCluskey. I'm an executive coach. I work with executives who are uh, looking to redefine their individual definitions of success, and I teach individuals how to focus more on well being as it relates to performance. Welcome to session, uh, Mini Bites session 58. And today's topic is uh, on getting sick. So it's about getting sick and um, just some thoughts I have around that. I uh, just have a little bit of a cold and I had one of those days today where I had to make a choice of whether or not I was going to include a run in my day. And this is often a conversation that I have with myself when, when I do get sick is whether or not I push through it with a run or a workout or or whether or not I choose sleep. So fortunately today was the day where I was able to get my desired uh, at least seven hours of sleep and then I also made the choice to, to go for a run in the afternoon, late in the afternoon. And you know, it felt good. It felt good, I ran fast, it was a quicker pace than usual. I sweat, it's hot out today here in Philadelphia. And so I'm happy with the choice I made. I didn't feel forced. I didn't uh, tell myself I had to run today. I simply uh, I had that choice and I made that choice to run. And, and like I said, I felt good about it, but that's not always the case. Sometimes I will choose not to run. And there's lots of different opinions out there about whether or not it's a good idea to run or work out when we get sick. And I do believe that to an extent, uh, allowing our bodies to sweat, especially when we're sick, can be a really good thing because it does help the body facilitate the removal of the toxins. The trick with that is also ensuring that we're getting enough sleep and our bodies aren't so run down that we're not able to recover after that workout or that run. So that being said, I thought today would be a good time to dive a little bit deeper into getting sick. You know, before I started on um, the next chapter of my journey, which involved a lot more spiritual practice, which started in December, 2012, before I embarked on that, uh, that time in my journey, I, I had this belief that getting sick was really just a bad thing across the board. It was bad. It was bad to get sick. Uh, it wasn't a good idea to come into the office if I got sick. Um, you know, uh, all of a sudden, if I get sick, people are, you know, getting st staying away from me. I'm just kind of growing up in this world where in, in Western society, getting sick is treated uh, very differently than other parts of the world, I came to learn. And it really wasn't until uh, spending time working in Latin America that I realized how different it really was. Um, because people in other parts of the world don't treat getting sick like we do here in North America. And uh, that being said, as I started to learn more about the mind-body-spirit connection, and as I started to connect more authentically with myself, I started to learn that getting sick is not such a bad thing. And in fact, getting sick is a chance for our body to do its job, our immune system to do its job and fight back. So this again speaks to contrast, right? So I talk a lot about contrast. I talk a lot about the need to be out of balance in order to, to be able to step back into balance. I talk about the need to uh, have day so that we can have night, order, chaos, light, dark, this is how the world goes round. Contrast. We need con inside of us. We have good and we have evil. Uh, we can make choices about the path that we want to take in that contrast, but the contrast is needed. So our bodies have jobs. Our bodies have a job to keep us healthy. Our bodies are incredibly powerful and they're just absolute masterpieces. But let me tell you, when we get sick, especially here in North America, it's a generalization. My experience has been, it's like all of a sudden we are completely incapable. We are ill-equipped and, and it's a very bad thing when we get sick. And I just would invite a, a check-in on that. I would invite, you know, just an understanding that when we do get sick, whether it's a cold or a fever where the body is literally burning up and burning out the things that aren't supposed to be in the body, uh, that that's really not a terrible thing. And you know, the society uh, that we live in here in North America really doesn't hold a lot of space. I, I think it's changing, uh, but it doesn't hold a lot of space for when we do get sick. It's kind of like, 
all right, I'm sick, I gotta get back to work, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I have to almost step over being sick and pretend it's not there. Well, I wanna remind uh, myself, that's a lot of the reason why I do these, these messages, um, it's also an opportunity to slow down, right? And I do from I do believe that when the body does get sick, whether that's a cold or a fever or an infection of some kind, it is absolutely a sign uh, to slow down. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a very supportive message and reminder. And I, I know for me, when I do get sick, I do slow down and I like to allocate more resources to my body so that it can fight off whatever it needs to fight off. Um, and I'll just wrap up with, there's a lot of natural remedies out there. I rarely take um, pharmaceuticals at all. That's been the case for uh, since 2014 for me. Uh, I think I've taken antibiotics once in the last five years. You know, generally the, my go-to's just to share when I do get sick are garlic, lots of garlic. I smell like garlic all day long, which is upsetting to some people, um, but that's okay, including my father, and I totally get it. Um, but I love garlic, and garlic is an antibiotic. They, it's, it's actually known as the Russian penicillin because in wartime when they ran out of pe penicillin, they would go to uh, they would go to using garlic. Also, apple cider vinegar is really good for detoxifying the liver. Um, it's good for allergies and things like that because what happens in the liver is as the toxins build up, that's when we get things like allergies and other uh, sicknesses. Uh, so apple cider vinegar actually helps move that through. And um, there are a number of other things I, I enjoy as well. Vitamin C, vitamin D, lots of vitamin C, lots of vitamin D and lots of hydration, and I usually keep it really simple with my diet as well. And I certainly, um, I like to take salt baths and get enough sleep. So just a few uh, things to share at the end of this message. Love you all until the next time.